you know, I think this would be a value to a lot of assessment jurisdictions. Hi there, it's Billy Burley with Courthouse USA, and today I'll be demonstrating how Hexagon Smart Maps can help you visualize and analyze your assessment data in near real time. Now, I've worked with the Hexagon platform for over three years, and I can say part of the power of this platform is just how flexible and configurable it is to meet your specific needs. You can create charts based on any attribute in your database, as well as thematically shade parcels based on any attribute in your database. What you're seeing now are parcels thematically shaded based on neighborhood codes. Now this can come in handy for a variety of reasons. And one is if you want to do just a visual check of your data to make sure parcels are coded correctly. So if I zoom out a touch, and you look around for colors that are the same or ones that may be different. So if I zoom into this neighborhood here, these are ones you may want to check. This is a, a green parcel within an orange neighborhood. You can click that parcel and then see the information about it. Now this particular one is stable hot, stabilized residential land, so it's probably correct. But you get the idea that if you have errors in the data, they'll just kind of jump out at you. Now you see when you click on a parcel, you'll see all the attributes associated with that parcel. And that's one of those areas that are configurable, that you can have any number of attributes from your camera database in that window. Um, as well as if you have pictures of the houses, if those are online, you can link to those. You can link to online property record cards. And another really powerful feature of the system is that you can have what they call functional attributes, which are calculations on the fly. So things like sales price per square foot is not in the database, but the system can calculate that for you and then display that. Okay, now let's look for a specific neighborhood to do some analysis. I'm going to type Laurel Cove. And here's the Laurel Cove neighborhood. I can look at the total assessment graph and isolate some certain areas. So maybe I want to look at the ones that are on the high side. I simply click and drag and then you'll see it, it highlights the ones that fall within that part of that that range and as you can imagine it's more your premium lots um, those larger properties however if I was analyzing this neighborhood I'd probably focus on some of these smaller lots to figure out why those are assessed at the same rate as some of these premium lots I can also hit this charts tab and flip the screen around and now I can see more statistics based for this neighborhood. I can see there's 331 parcels in this neighborhood. I can look at the assessment stats, your mean, your median and range and so on. And I can look at the property stats here in a grid format. Now the next thing I want to show is looking at more of a, a sales ratio analysis. So what I can do is I'm going to click sales info available means properties have sold and you can select the sales area you want. I'm just going to leave all these selected just for demonstration purposes. You can select validity codes but here I'm looking at 8,433 sales but I want to look at just this neighborhood for now. So I'm going to click within this neighborhood and now I'm looking at 106 sales within this neighborhood. I can see the assessment sales ratio chart and just like the total assessment chart I can kind of highlight some of these that are on the uh, the higher end and I've got 18 of those and I can just drag this thing over if I want to look at the ones on the lower end you can also set a ratio range chart that's configurable uh, so here I've got if I want to see the high ones I just click it if I want to see the low ones I click that. The other thing you can do, which is really my favorite thing to do, is you can select your theme. So this is where I talked about you can thematically shade based on different attributes. Ratio range can be something you thematically shade on. So I'm going to select ratio range. And now you see the parcels are shaded based on that ratio range and I can very quickly visually see which ones are high and which ones are low. I can then come back and flip around to my chart tab 
and I can look at the stats. I can see the COV, the PRD, your mean, median, and all your fun appraisal stats. So now you may have found some outliers in your database. Uh, a couple things you can do with that. You can pull up your camera system, maybe on a second screen, and make some adjustments, make some changes. Um, once you do that, then you refresh this application, you'll see those changes on the map. Another thing you may want to do is you may want to flag some for a uh, property review. So what you can do with that is I can simply go to export attribute data and it will export the parcels from your selection set right here, so these 106, into an Excel format. With that, if you have a mobile application, you can use that to create work lists or you can just pass it to another employee to, to kind of work through in the camera system and make the changes. So it helps make that a little bit more portable. Another great thing you can do is compare neighborhoods. Uh, so right now we're looking at Laurel Cove, but perhaps I want to compare that to the neighbor to the north, or these are like, like neighborhoods and I want to kind of do my analysis with a couple different neighborhoods at once. All I do is click in that area. And now I've got both neighborhoods and I can go through and click the charts that makes sense and I can view the statistics for both neighborhoods at the same time okay so we're gonna go back to just Laurel Cove I'm looking at 106 sales and now I'm gonna show a, another example of stomach shading so let's say sales price per square foot and there's a chart here for that so now I can look at and compare visually what the sales price per square foot was for the sold parcels in this neighborhood if I want to isolate some of them let's say I want to look at the ones over 200 I simply click it and there I've got them isolated and there are lots of examples for this thematic shading um, it can be things like like we just showed, price per square foot sold. You can also do price per square foot appraised if you want to look at the entire neighborhood and isolate ones that may be higher or lower than they should be. You can also do open and closed permits to track um, where you are with your permit work. Or you can even do date appraised. So if you're one of those states that's on a four-year cycle and you're appraising 25% of this county every year, you can thematically shade on that and see if you're on track. Um, there may be a street you missed. Uh, maybe a, a part of a neighborhood you missed and so on. So there's lots of different things you can do um, to use different attributes to thematically shade these parcels. Now I'm going to go back to neighborhood. And earlier we showed how you can compare two neighborhoods at the same time. You can also kind of create your own spatial selection. So let's say I don't want to compare necessarily both neighborhoods at the same time, but I want to look at just this general area. I can simply draw a box around that area and grab parts of both neighborhoods. And now my selection set is within this box since the 24 parcels in that box. Um, another example of this is if you're doing notifications. So if you have a corridor and you need to select a group of parcels along a street to send notifications out, you would select those parcels and then you would export the um, the attributes to Excel, which would have the owner name and address, and so you basically create your mail labels that way. Another example of mail labels is a lot of times you have to kind of buffer, or you have to send out a notification within so many feet or meters of an area. Um, the circle tool is a great way to do that. So if I need to send a notification in this area, I simply draw my circle and now I've got my parcel selected and again I can create my mail labels from that. Now that's all I wanted to show today. I wanted to keep this just a short video with a quick high level overview of the application. I hope you can see how this application really is the best way to visualize and analyze your assessment data. With the flexibility and configuration options you can customize this to meet your assessment needs as well as you can configure this to be even a dashboard for your assessment or your camera data so with that i appreciate you watching if you have any additional questions i'll leave my contact info in the description box below 
And please feel free to contact me with your questions or if you'd like to see a detailed demo, I'd be happy to set that up over the web at any time for you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.